Did you know that there are mainly five types of cardiac medicines used for humans and all of this have different functions and different effects. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Physio Trends. This is me Physio Prem Shah and today's video I am going to discuss about the cardiac conditions and effects of different drugs in that. Now you must be thinking that what is the necessity of this particular information for a physiotherapist. So for that I am going to tell you that basically we know in today's scenario there are so many people who are suffering with hypertension and also other cardio related conditions like myocardial infarction or congestive heart failure and because of that they are taking certain drugs and they can have some effects in their body which will affect the way they exercise or the way physiotherapists are making them exercise and that is why my dear friends we should know about the effects of the drugs your patient is taking for their conditions now first and common drug which most of the people with hypertension are taking is beta blockers Beta blocker is like uh, if you want to uh, recognize this drugs, their ending will be something with lol, so propanolol or etipranolol. So these are the drugs which will be used as a beta blocker to reduce the heart rate of the patient. So what it does is it stimulates the sympathetic system and because of that automatically your heart rate reduces. So in such patient, we have to make sure that if you are making them exercise with high intensity, okay, their heart rate is not going to increase much. So you should not focus on their heart rate for measuring the intensity of the exercise. You have to know that it is going to be low because they are taking beta blockers. Now next common medicine taken by the cardiac condition patient is ACE inhibitors, which is also known as angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. So lisinopril or ramipril or drugs like which which with ends with pril are going to be your ACE inhibitors. So how does this drug work? So basically as the name suggests it is going to block the production of angiotensin converting enzyme which mainly works to stimulate your blood pressure. So because it is blocking it automatically the blood pressure is going to get reduced. So now in this patient also my dear friends if you are checking for the blood pressure it is if it is coming low it's okay because patient is already under drug but if even if after taking this drug patient's blood pressure is coming up then there can be some um, emergency situation or some abnormality for which we should refer this patient to the physician or further specialist. So that is why it is very important we should know the effect of this drug. The next common drug which are used in this conditions, cardiac condition is calcium channel blockers. Again, as the name suggests, what it is going to do is it is going to block the entry of calcium in the arteries. So because it is causing blockage of calcium entry into the artery, it is going to cause vasodilation and because of that again there will be decrease in heart rate plus it is going to reduce the strength of the muscle contractions of the heart tissues. So this is how this functions if you are using calcium channel blockers. Now how to remember this drug? So basically this drug is going to end with uh, pill. So it was the previous one AC inhibitors was pill. This is pill. So it will be like verapamil. Okay, so verapamil is a drug which is used for the calcium channel blocker and its main work is to perform vasodilation as well as reducing, reducing the heart rate as well as to reduce the strength of the contractions. The next drug which is commonly used for cardiac condition patient is digitalis or digoxin. Now this drug is a special drug which is used for congestive heart failure patient. How it is going to be helpful? Because with this drug it acts to increase the capacity of the cardiac tissue as well as it increases the cardiac output which basically is less in congestive heart failure patients. So initially it boosts up the cardiac output and so that it can prevent the condition to get worse. So that is how this digoxin or digitalis is going to be useful for the patient. Now this is a severe condition in which we are anyways not going to give physiotherapy but still we should know about the effects of this drug. 
The next and common drug which is used for cardiac condition is aspirin. Now we all have heard of aspirin and we know somewhat that how does it work. So it works basically by reducing the aggregation of the platelets. Now what will happen if the platelet count reduces? Now we know that platelet basically helps you for the binding. Okay, so because of the reduction in the platelet count, automatically the chances of atherosclerosis or blockage of blood reduces and because of that we can prevent myocardial infarction condition. And that is why like suddenly if patient during treatment gets this myocardial infarction condition symptoms, if we can give aspirin, it is going to reduce the symptom and it is going to save patient's life and that is why we also should know about this drug and the effect. So I really hope that you find this very informative and useful for your career, for your practice as a physiotherapist. If you want to know more about it, please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe PhysioTrends.